My name is Meg. I've been so excited to play this game. Let's do it. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending Somnusculpt technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnusculpt will make your dreams come true. Relaxing. Big fan. I would go to Somna Sculpt if I was having feelings of self doubt. Okay. Last. Okay, I might need to turn up. I wish I could read that. I'll just sign it anyway. Hello. Got a good fire system, security camera. Looks like a legit place. Perception is reality. Got this chess piece, I got- oh! <laughs> I knew I would love this game. Out of the way, you. Space jump. Exit. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. We have a door. Bigger. Very nice. Very good. Ah, ha ha ha. <laughs> I like the sound that it makes when it falls. This music is relaxing me. No objects behind it. So we got chess pieces, we got blocks, we got cheese, as one does, dice, and apples. And you are not allowed to go through. I am, though. Okay. It's gonna, it's like portal, it's gonna close. Hello. That's right. Okay. Gonna have to make this bigger. You make it bigger if you be far away. I got this. I got this. Gotta hop on the boxes. Okay, hang on. Can I crouch? Nope. No crouching in this game. Don't be electrocuted by the batteries. Watch out for knives. Don't touch things. Use a friend. Don't cut the outlets off. Careful of birds. And don't clean up the computer with a broom in the sunshine or a lightning storm. Confirmed. Oh. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am huh. the standard orientation protocol and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. That sounds about right. Sounds like my general experience. What? 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 Okay. Okay. Aha! Nope. There we go. Hold, right click, to rotate. Oh. 
All right, cheesy cheese. You get time for you to be Hugh Normo. Cheese. Bigger. 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 Am I insane? I think I'm insane. I don't think I can make it. Ugh! Okay, cheesy guy. We gotta get you a little closer. And bigger! Dunk. Yeah, still not close enough. All I'm doing is making it smaller. Hang on. Okay, okay. Huge. Oh, oh no, he fell too close. There we go. That'll do it. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please so complete tired. the remaining orientation activities. Hello. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this forbidden way. Get out of here, you planks of wood. What are you gonna do to me? Ooh, this looks off limits. Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. Indeed. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return oh. to the orientation pathway. Don't tell me how to live my life. I don't want to use the other door. I want to use this door. It's okay. Come on, Soda. We got stuff to do. Interesting. Oh, hello. Would you like this soda can? Don't get smashed. Hello? Is that supposed to be broken? Yes. Uh, I think I want you smaller. I think I want you itty bitty. Nope. There we go. I don't feel like that was supposed to be smashed. I like how when the doors close, the guys are like, I don't know. The door's not open. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. For a gift card, oh dear. Don't get smashed to death. <gasps> nope, nope, nope. Okay, am I insane or is that rattling every time I do that? Is it that game that's rat? Oh. Oh no, it's 100% rattling my computer. Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? Oh my gosh. It's because I have a controller plugged in and it's vibrating on my computer. <laughs> that's funny. I'll unplug that. Not crazy, a little crazy. Not like totally crazy though. Oh, 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 I have made a pickle. There we go. Alright, alright, I fixed the pickle. No pickles. Okay. Onward. People without items beyond this point will be fine. People beyond this point with object will be fined. One lost night of sleep to four? Oh my gosh. That is that is like a very inhumane punishment. Okay. Probably some psychological imagery there. We got some apples and some peeling wallpaper. It's a loop, isn't it? We're just gonna loop. Oh, until we leave. 
I don't want to loop. Hello. Okay. All right. And this one's opens this one. Oh. I don't see any. Okay. All right. We can work with this. But I gotta get them both open, right? So we're gonna have to be. Mondo, boop, Mondo Biggie. Oh, I can rotate it. Silly me. <sighs> it's all the portal I've played. Really gives you puzzle reasoning. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. Somnasculpt. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Okay. I think I will not proceed through the final doorway. I think, in fact, I will make this cheese big and knock a wall down. Do I need to be... How is it going to fall? We need it to fall correctly. Let's have a fall like that. Yeah! That'll hold. I'm safe. Oh! Ooh, abrupt atmosphere change. Did you hear that? Huh. We're not supposed to be here. Oh, just another door. Hello. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> nah. Funny. Oh! Hold up. Is that my bed? Loading! Loading! Loading? Loading! Loading? Well, now it's 3 a.m. Incorrect, it's 10 a.m. Okay. Alright. Don't go that way. It's kind of yellow. I broke it. Oh no, the fire alarm is pulled. Is that me? Let's get a soda. I want a red soda this time. And a water. It broke. Somebody broke that. Why is it so dark? Oh no, I pinned it. That's awesome, I pinned it. Some doors are best left closed. I feel like I'm in my own psychological prison. This music is really helping me relax. Can I go in room 427? Oh dear! It's one of those. Fascinating. It's so interesting. Perspective. Eh? Okay. I'm a grown up. Temporarily moved. Exit temporarily moved, so we just bricked it right up. So if I'm asleep, can't I just open that door anyway? Oh no, it's another one of these. Oh, <gasps> wait, this is right. This is right, so what's this way then? I kind of wish I could run. Oh, 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 it's an illusion. Okay, never mind. It's all just illusions. Oh, it's an object doorway, okay. Hello. Hello.
Okay. Can I pick up all of these? <laughs> Go for Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, the atmosphere. As soon as you leave the, the like, the good area, it's like... Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hi, Glenn. And I'd like to talk to you about being special. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry, we're working on it. We are working on it. Thanks, Glenn. Order more red paint. Arr, I'm a pirate. Okay. Projection. Balsa, ply, and corrugated wood. Banana and yellow. No Z clipping. Interesting. So it's implied that I'm dreaming. Correct, but am I dreaming? I'm dreaming in a created world. Is that that? That was the same doorway. Hey, I made a cube. I made a cube I can land on. Climb, climb. You come with me. Okay. Alright, there's another room. Which means there's another illusion. Okay, so it's missing something. The flowers. It's missing the flowers. Okay, now I can look at it because I got the flowers, right? I'm good at this. Oh, oh, it's a facade. Okay, alright, okay, alright. You're coming with me, and you're coming with me. Oh, 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 we've frozen, we're back. Okay, does this mean I can make the exit come into being too? Okay. 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 What am I supposed to- oh. Okay. Oh, the atmosphere changes back. Not supposed to be here. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hello, Glenn. And I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, but Please keep moving forward, and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. I do. Okay, that's not working. But will you? Indeed you do. Is that high enough? Yep. Okay, whoops. Alright, it's all about the perspective. Are we right, kids? That's a large chess shaped hole in the wall. And there's also an exit right there. But I don't think I can get to that, so let's go out here. I feel like there's multiple ways to go. Again, I feel like- so this is like a studio-designed dream I'm in. 
but somehow I'm lost. Is the story here? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I feel like there should be an elevator there. Cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Are you serious? Wait, why did I put it on the- what? It just sticks wherever I put it? Hello? Alright, what do we got? I'll be darned, we have a door. We'll have a- we have a darn door. Bigger. Bigger. Huh. <gasps> Music. No music. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. Interesting. What's going on with these loading screens? I'm a big fan. Oh good, it's four. On to a new night. Still feels suspicious. Yeah? Private. Does everything get yellower every time I come out here? Or is that just me? Today I'd like a mini soda. Oh! Wow, they met Minnesota. They, they met. <laughs> it's a dumb joke. It's not funny at all. Well, this isn't typical. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. That's not on me. That's on your system. You should be able to handle me. If you can't deserve me at my dream state paradox, you don't deserve me at my restful night. Okay, this is a... Hello. Curators only. That is a terrible office. That is abuse. You should not pick people work in those environments. Has the people been sleeping out here? Gosh. <gasps> oh, I need my die. Everybody calm down. I got this. Why does that have apples? What is the psychological significance of apples? Very. Very interesting. Oh, I did it. I don't know if that's how I was supposed to do it, but I did it. Okay, get in the way. Alright. Oh, two. Now we got two. Hey, friendo. Come with me. Oh. down there so I don't get stuck. I want to is, is that I feel like that's the exit says it's this way. Okay. Sweet bee, I should pay attention. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this the other side? Cuz I'm in sweet F, I think. This is the other side of the hall. You can hear it. Don't fall in the pit. I'm probably gonna fall in the pit. Make you a little smaller and put you down here in case I need you. Oh, this is creep. Oh, 
I, I want I want the light. Oh jeez. This is creepsoids. This isn't one of those games that's gonna turn into a scary game, is it? Cause I am not down for that. Oh, I can just move it. Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. My bad. Whoopsie doodles. All right, big light. Come on. Aw. Goodbye, big light. Oh, I lit it up for myself. That's funny. Why are these wonky? Why are these wonk? Oh, oh, and those are painted. This is an illusion. <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> Should I go there or wait? Oh. Okay. Okay, so they can only go one direction. <gasps> oh, I made it. Music? No music. Music? No music. I like the music better. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. Tell me how to live my life. I like this dream. Oh! Whoopsies. That's cool. Don't worry about it. Now you have a bunch of little boxes. Wow. Wow. Everything is just a lie, isn't it? This reminds me of another game. Well. Oh, I was gonna say YOLO, but then I just fell. And I'm still going. It's cool. I'm back. Okay, I'm backtracking now. Hey, an elevator. I'm supposed to be looking for those, right? I don't like the way that they automatically open. Emotions and expectations highly affect dreams. These are the dream layers of the mind. You are here. Okay, so Bart Diagov, he's gone. People only dream of ordinary objects. Boring. What happened to Bart? Feeling lucky? So are we. Caliculus Casino and Amusements. We're a thousand percent loaded, but we're not. Oh no, we're all loaded. Okay. 5 a.m. So here's sweet B. I am in sweet F. Over there is sweet C, which means that I was looking out of one of those into the hallway in the with the caution tape. Right? Sweet G, sweet A. Hello, Glenn. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? <gasps> I don't like that. Oh my gosh. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I sort of those six attempts into a horror game. I hate this. The flickering light noise. 
Oh, barf. Oh, barf. So much barfing. That just changed. Okay, now I have to walk through creepy butcher paper. Why am I in a fridge? Why is there protein powder in the fridge? Are you serious right now? Do I have to go through the murder door? Let's go through the murder door. What's in the murder door? <gasps> I don't like it. <sighs> You're not gonna barf. There are no murderers. Only you. And these canisters. These unsuspicious canisters that you can put in front of the door so that the murderer can't get out. See? See? Now he's locked in there. Right? Emergency generator. We just gotta go turn the light on. Head forward. Keep walking. Just keep walking. Oh crap. What the crap? Beans! Okay, let's explore the dark. Okay, we got a light, we got a light. We got a light, it's full of plants. Okay, there's a doorway. Oh, the eeriness. Die! Yet. Soda. That's pretty good. It's German for THE Bart. THE. Nope! Beans! Emergency generator this way. Alright, this is some thick A blood, dude. That is like paint blood. Okay, just making sure the murderer couldn't put out any fires. We can make it. Alley yep. Oh, hey! Not fall into the blood pit. Let's, uh, oh, that's not the way we go. <gasps> Careful. Oh, I couldn't, I could have just not jumped. There's a, there's a walkway. Oh! Oh, that's, I am sick to my stomach right now. I am sick to my stomach right now. Hi, bud. Give me some calming Hello. words. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hi, Glenn. And I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. Do we have to? You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. you. And you know everyone else is enjoying. You. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Hey, some more protein powder. Okay. This whole game I've been alone. I have to still be alone. It's not just gonna break the motif, right? Gosh, oh gosh. I have to go into the dark, don't I? <gasps> okay, I'm gonna go backwards. Cause that makes any any sort of sense. Oh! Oh! Okay. I did it good. My counterintuitiveness was actually just plain intuitiveness. And the stairs are lit up. I'm going the right way. Warning, you were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams but have now <sighs> descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make- Where'd she go? Where'd she go, friend? Friend? Is this just a light? It's just a light for the dark. I need to make it bigger. Big light. Okay, big light. What do we see? Mm. Oh. Oh. Big light, you're a little bit too big, hun. I can't see past you. Okay. 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 That's just a really cool box fort. I wish I built a really cool box fort. Alright. I just, I'm, if I go fast, they can't hurt me. <gasps> oh gosh, I thought we were there. Come 
on, big guy, it's us. Oh, come here, light. Oh, you can't come. All right, here's an idea. Okay, big light. Let's, uh... Light up my life. Will ya? Oh, nope. Not good enough. Bigger. Bigger. Ominous. Staircase door. Oh, Hurl. Okay, that's not... Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the <gasps> standard orientation protocol. <gasps> the knife's gone. I'm about to be butchered. I'm about to be butchered. I'm about to be butchered. Somebody took the knife. Somebody took the knife. This is so much blood. How many victims were there? It's unreal. Go to the Ikea box. Go to the idea box. Is that the generator? It's a dinner party. That's a facade. Um, the doors are open. The sun is shining. Wow. Order more red paint. Because someone spilled it everywhere and got handprints everywhere and that just had, just had to scare the crap out of people. I don't like that. Cloning. Too many, but how many really? Self-doubt and worthlessness. Promote anti-cancer, promotes heart health. You know what I don't like? I don't like avocados. Sorry. Oh, wow, I was just about to say, look, a normal loading screen. Why are there so many? Shh. My dad used to wake up to a clock that did that and it was the worst. Traumatic experiences listening to that alarm beep. Speaking of traumatic experiences, here's some diet soda. Okay. Um, and also speaking of traumatic experiences, I do feel a little bit like this is, um... Um, this is like a delve into your psyche, and that's why it's like... Oh yeah, you gotta shift your perspective and whatnot. It's, um, an allegory for mental health. Got some honky-tonk. Smooth. Similar, but like jazzier. I'm gonna go with three. I like three. It's very 80s vibes.
All right, so we're doing cloning then. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um. How am I supposed to get through? What am I supposed to... Well, that was simpler than I thought it would be. Whee! Let's just step into the... Oh! Once again, it's a facade. Attention. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Wow, this is a nightmare. Hop on up there and hop on this. Okay, stop jumping off of it and jump up. Okay, slightly bigger. Oh, it stopped peeping. Thank goodness. Got it. Oh, jeez. Oh! Look at my little cursor! He's a smiling face! He's happy to see me. Look at him. Tee <laughs> That's what I assume he said. Aww. 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 You miss my happy face cursor. Okay. Um. Oh, I have an idea. That'll do it. Oh, nope, nope. Gigantor rolled onto it. I'm gonna have limited time. Yes! Suckers. Okay. Okay. And there's a fan. And... Oh, oh, the fan blows those over here into the abyss. Wait, I just heard the door opening. Oh, I bet it was just that one. So we come up the stairs, and there's my door, and there's my apple. They set up this whole thing so that you would think like, oh, I have to figure out a way to clone them away from the fan. In reality, all you have is like this. Perspective, right? Perspective. That's this whole thing. It's perspective. It's shift your perspective. Warning. Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Make some stairs. And then just... Think skinny thoughts. Oh no! Just think skinny thoughts. Skinny... Skinny thoughts. No, no, no. Just, just, just. Am I supposed to go up again? No? No? I'm just supposed to think skinny thoughts. Come on. Come on. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, great. That's just gonna do more. Oh, oh, right. The right clicking, it just, uh, it just puts, uh, I see, so you do that and then you can, I just screwed myself. Yep. Yep. There we go. 
Facade. Atmosphere change. Caution tape. Attention. Soda machine. Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello. My introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never <laughs> been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Okay, so I'm just cloning more little soda machines. I have found a way to make infinite money. Perception is reality. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like I'm doing very well with that one, actually. Oh. Alright, I'm done. Hi, Glenn. Is that you? Hello. Name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care leader, patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Edge science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And buts, no ifs, or look good. Look good. Look good. Feels friendly, friendly, friendly family produce. Farm to mind. Mind to heart. Makes no sense. I love it. Just like every other produce slogan. Okay. Beep 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 beep. Beep 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 beep. Beep 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 beep. It's seven. Lots of people wake up at seven. When do I get to wake up? Relaxation room. <gasps> I'm on the other side. I'm on the other side. That's my room. I'm on the other side. Why is that thing saying dream? I have a dream dream. This relaxation room is terrifying. I would honestly prefer this relaxation room with like the sunshine and soft benches. This is dim and creepy and he's whispering Martin Luther King quotes. Backwards clouds. Let's just move on. I'm not in the mood for relaxing. Hi, Glenny. Feeling better? Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Oh, that's right, the Minnesota. It says 12 ounces, but I'm gonna put a little fat doubt on that. Oh. Oh! Hello. Oh, it's gonna have to be at least three times bigger than that. Okay. And then I can get myself a soda. No, I can't. It's okay, I didn't want to set it anyway. Hello? Wait. I just went through a, in a circle. What? Oh, there's another door. Oh, I need to be little. Wait, what? So oh, 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 I glitched the game. I broke the game. Whoopsie doodles. I think I'm just gonna fall infinitely. Okay, um. Well, let's just reset our checkpoint real quick. Hey guys, remember that time I broke the game? That's my bad. Ah! 
Too big. I made it. Okay, and I've got to be smaller for this. So, are there two doors? No. Oh, I'm so silly. I've got it backwards. I'm trying to make the house smaller when really I should just be making me smaller. See? I'm being so silly. Shift that perspective, huh? Oh. oh I thought that was gonna be Glenny. Why is the music so silly? Oh my god. Wait, when I pick it up, it's silly? Lots of odd and kind of creepy imagery, which I guess says more about me than the game. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. No. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. That's not safe. Someone should look at that. Oh no! Oh, something's hanging, something's swinging. Oh, it's just the light. Oh, barf. Why am I barfing so much? This is terrifying. Hello. I have an idea. Make you big. Make you rocket fan. Yeah. That's right, Jenga. You're mine now. Hello. Slippery one, wet floor. Um. Okay. Oh, oh, don't. I was gonna say, can I just walk through the window? And I am just dominating these puzzles. Why am I tiny? Because the facade is tiny. Why are there suitcases in trash cans? Can we talk about that disturbing imagery for a minute? Lots and lots of shampoo. That feels excessive. Hey, Glenn. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Well, do skis, big man. Will do skis. Gosh, don't focus on that. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Hello? Oh, oh, can't go through like a little mouse. Uh, yeah. There's the door and this is a portal. So, we get the front door. Oh, whoops. There. Go through the portal. Boom. I'm tiny, but that's okay. I am very small. Hi, Glenn. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Right. Ah, now I'm big boy.
I need to be small, but I also need to get up there. So I wonder if I were to go like... Hang on. Nope, 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 don't fall. Don't fall. Am I doing the wrong thing? Is that why it's falling? Oh, I'm so close. Come on. Ah! I did it. Now, there's no way I'm getting it out, so I hope this is right. <gasps> what did I do? What? You saw that? That was... This this is totally right though. Giant chess pieces. And I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, there's a soda, there's some giant chess pieces. Oh, this is taking a minute, isn't it? To get over here. Hello. 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 I think this is Glenn's office. There's sure a lot of hotel stuff for this being an office. Like the luggage movers. Why are there... I don't know, this is weird. I feel like I'm kind of small, but that's still okay. Five to six dreams is the absolute limit. What's the emergency protocol to emergency protocol? Okay. I feel like I'm doing a bad. I'm little. 1991? I'm not even alive yet. Okay. <sighs> Wait, it's 3 a.m. again? Why is it 3 a.m. again? Where am I? Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, 8. Error. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. Okay. Parkour. Oh, good. More blood. Paint blood. Blood. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. <laughs> in other words, you are wrong, not Hypothesis. the system. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. <gasps> Reformulating. Impossible. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. What? Instruction. Continue with somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. What? Goodbye. What? Come back. <gasps> no. No. You don't put me in a dream loop. You don't you don't dream loop me. I dream loop you. You're dream looping me, aren't you? No. Stop. Stop it! Uh oh. Oh no, I broke. Oh no, I'm broken. Oh, no, I'm okay. Okay. This is the worst party ever. They have diet soda and carrots. Who hosted this? There's not even beans. Is that why the guy started murdering? Because of the beans? I wanna go back to the carrot party. Oh, I'm on the other side again. No, I'm not. 
I'm just gone. Okay. 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 Except, oh my gosh, the picture! I can go through the picture! Oh yes, it's a facade. You can't stop me. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Yeah, me too. It's dark. You know I don't like the dark. You're not describing anything to me, Glenn. Okay. Glenn! You're doing nothing for me. Glenn. Nothing. Okay. Alright. Okay. Aha! Made a new door, suckers. Okay. Ripping the painting. Okay. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire, trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Oh! I guess I should have looked where I was going. Oh! Oh, yeah, there we go. <gasps> Moderate destruction. No friendly sign this time? Where? That's not right, but it was this- nope, it's this way. Okay, left, right. Left. Right, left. Right. Oh, good. Am I under a freeway? Am I in an underpass? Oh, did I just fly? Oh, no, 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 bigger, bigger. No, bigger, bigger, bigger. Oh, why are you getting smaller? Not smaller, bigger. Why won't you get bigger? Ugh, what? I thought it was time to swim. Where did it go? Hello. Hey, my smiley face. It's got my smiley face on it. Why am I so stressed out right now? It's the music. I need some money to drink. Water soda. What the body craves. So, okay. Hello. No, that's the way I move on.
Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. What's happening? I guess I've exhausted my supply of dreams. And now I'm just dreaming. What is happening? Just dream living. Perception is reality. This is like the Lost Woods puzzle, which I was never good at. Let me out. Come on. Oh, <gasps> I did it. That took entirely too long. Good lanta. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Oh my gosh. Freaking optical illusions. Oh, well, I'm alone in a vast, oh, no, there's a wall, airport parking lot, that's a wall, okay, perception is reality, that means we have got to find the boundaries of perception, okay, so I've discovered four walls, not three walls, I need a fourth, and when I find my fourth wall, I could find my exit. I hear the alarm clock. Just need to get to it. It's in my bedroom. This is new. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Somnasculpt diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. This music reminds me of Portal. It's not reception. It's conception. Because this is where his dream was conceptualized. All right, what can I touch? What can I touch? Go thunk. I drop it and Diagnostic dust falls warning. from the sky. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state state. Well, that's fun. You come out here. I created a paradox. Please paradox from creating any refrains. Oh no. Explosive dream overload. I thought you wanted me to create a dream overload. Crap. That's my bad. Please overload for dream explosion. Mr. Stark, I'm not feeling so good. Is that Doug Dimidome? It was a bad joke. Not an exit. Let's head there anyway. Hello? Oingy. Oh. 
Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Deception. Why do I feel like I'm dead? I do love a rainstorm. Blockade, erase me, relax yet. Female toads, minerals. These are rooms everyone has. I fell down. This is like God's library. Museum. It's like the train station where Harry meets Dumbledore. It's all these very like middle life. Like you're not quite dead, but you're not alive. Glenn? 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 <sighs> ah! Fascinating. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. I have to be quiet for this part. It's like so reverent. Oh. I feel like I'm continually surprised by this game, too. It's always surprising me with things I don't expect. Perception. Shift your perception. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, 
isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? I have an idea. Okay. I have an idea. I'm on the table. Check it out. I bet. You make a bridge. You use the pieces to make a bridge. Check it out. Um, do you think I have to make this one? I'll just do it to be safe. through it. Can't go. If there's not a doorway, you can make a doorway. Oh my gosh. I feel like this really has me, like, considering my mental health. And, uh... Making sure that I have healthy perceptions of things. And it's not what I expected from this silly puzzle game. <laughs> what a cool stairway. What time is it? 7.29 a.m.? Is that what it is? It's... 7.59 a.m.? Wait, a regular loading screen? That's just a regular loading screen. 8 a.m. I'm back. No, that's not a door. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. be a struggle and you will always have problems but 
But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. in the real world. And some part of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait. What a great game. What a great game. What a fun game. I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed the puzzle aspects. I enjoyed the commentary. And I liked the message a lot more than I would have ever expected to. A lot more introspective than I would have expected to be at the end of a video game, but I like it. <laughs> I feel good. Thanks for dreaming. Gosh, I feel like I'm gonna cry. I don't know why. I just had such a good time. We did it. We did it! <laughs> oh. I can't wipe the stupid smile off my face. What a fun game! I'm so glad! I'm so glad it lived up to what I wanted it to be. I've been waiting for another mind-bending puzzler and this just... just knocked it out of the park. Until the next time I find an amazing puzzler like this. <laughs> Stay sweet. The soundtrack was lit. <laughs> it really was though. This was a great soundtrack. I would sleep to that music for real. I know the whole shtick is that it's like Somnusculpt and so it's a sleep therapy studio, but I would absolutely sleep to those like relaxing jazz beats. And I don't like jazz music, so that is saying something. <laughs>